So, I want to do a cheer almost. We're number one. We're number one. Woo! 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 I never was a cheerleader, so I don't even know how that works. But if you want to know why we're number one, stay tuned. We're getting started right now. Wichita Falls is number one on a whole lot of lists. Welcome back, y'all. I'm Debbie Dobbins, your host for this episode of Your Wichita Falls. And today, I want to talk about how many lists Wichita Falls is on as number one and number two and all the way down to number five. We are incredible. I don't believe that I've ever lived in a community that is on so many number one lists. And I don't make these lists up. They're, these lists come from all different places in the country. And so I'm going to start with, we are the number one best place for working families in the U.S. What? That's incredible. I'm going to put a link to all of these rankings in the body of this because it's a lot of data for this short video. But we are the number one for working families in America. So the top eight cities for working families in America, well, guess what? They're all in Texas. Of course they are. As I always say, I wasn't born in Texas, but I got here as fast as I could. But this study studied five metrics. They studied high school graduation rate, the median annual housing costs, the percentage of the labor force working 50 weeks or more per year, the average commute, you know, we rocked that one, and the average annual child care costs. Part of Wichita County has the highest high school graduation rate of any city in the top 10. Woo! People always ask me, what about the schools? I'm like, they're great. And what a great statistic to have. And we have the sixth highest metric overall. According to the census data in 2018, the median annual housing costs were about $9,400. Only about half of the labor force worked more than 50 weeks per year, and the average commute for workers was, hmm, I've said it before, oh, I don't know, roughly 15 minutes and no traffic. Finally, the state of Texas has the 14th lowest average annual childcare costs of all 50 states. So bonus, we have it all. By far, if you want to raise a family, which still falls is your place. Now, we also ranked number one, the number one cities with the lowest cost of living in America. Well, I've said this, I don't know how many times. So taking the most comprehensive data on schools and neighborhoods, Wichita Falls is a city in Texas with a population of basically 104,000, 105,000. We've lost count actually because it's growing so fast. In Wichita County, it's one of the best places to live in Texas. Living in Wichita Falls offers our residents a sparse little suburban feel and most residents hmm, own their homes. In Wichita Falls, there are a lot of parks and many families and young professionals live in Wichita Falls, and our residents tend to lean a little conservative. That's not a surprise for Texas. But the public schools in Wichita Falls are above average. I just shared that. We have one of the highest graduation rates in all of America. That is fabulous. So another number one list that we're on is I just said it, the high school graduation rate. It's a different list, but it's all the same thing. A high school graduation rate continues to improve on this national level. As the national graduation rate seems to be plummeting, our level keeps going up. And all these metropolitan areas have all these problems with their schools. And what we are doing is finding a way to navigate that and then build up our graduation rate. In some U.S. cities, those graduation rates, mm, they could exceed 90%, but we've been known using data from the county health rankings and roadmaps, our graduation rate is over 97%. That's pretty remarkable. Now, you may have seen my video already, but we are number one on this list as the most affordable place to barbecue in the country. 
Yoo-hoo! So I invite you to watch that entire video, but we've been named the number one city for grilling in the entire nation. Woo! Well, Texas is number one for beef, and Wichita Falls, number one city for grilling in the entire nation. You'll never say in Wichita Falls, where's the beef? Because it's here and it's affordable. I did share in a previous video about the cost of why we're the number one grilling city in America, but take it from me, it was based on beef, pork, and beer and a couple of other things but of course we love our beer here so check out that video so here's one of my favorite because you notice on every one of my videos i talk about wichita falls being the happiest place in texas well i'm not kidding when i say that it's not just because i believe it we are number three on this list for the happiest cities in texas now the other two they may claim it, but I'm telling you Wichita Falls is number one, even though it's number three on this list. We are the number three happiest city in Texas. Life can't just be rainbows and butterflies all the time, but certain places in Texas seem to deal with the bumps in the road just a little bit better than the rest. Enter Wichita Falls. Credit Donkey did a study, <laughs> I think that's so funny, Credit Donkey, did a study about the happiest cities in Texas and compiled data from both the FBI and the U.S. Census to come up with the results. They focused on cities with a population of 50,000 or higher and ranked each city based on this criteria. Number of restaurants, crime rate, commute again, departure time, income, divorce rate, which is interesting, so that would mean that our divorce rate is low if we're, we're the happiest city list and housing costs. So we've talked about all of those categories and yes, we excel in all of them. The average commute time, guess what? 14.7 on this list, 15 minutes, I'm telling you. I've said it over and over and over. 15 minutes. You get wherever you want, usually it's 10. There's one restaurant per every 465 people. You know, people, we have a lot of restaurants. I did another video on my, my seven favorite homegrown restaurants, but I'm telling you, there are so many restaurants here. You could eat out every single night and not frequent the same one for months and months. We have a plethora of restaurants, but we are the number three happiest place in Texas. Ta-da! It's not just a fiction, it's a fact. Of course, we're number three on the shortest commutes in Texas. I think that's pretty self-explanatory because I get this all day, every day. What do you like the most about Wichita Falls? Number one, the people. Number two, no traffic. If you come from any area where you've had to drive in traffic, you know, and you live here, you know how incredible this is because there is not traffic. It's fantastic. So we have, we are number three on the shortest commute list, which is just awesome because I lived in Southern California and just had to constantly sit and sit and sit in these parking lots they call freeways there. You know, most of Texas, even though this is probably an exaggeration, the average commute time is 26.5. I'm going to, you get a little up there towards Dallas, it starts looking just a little bit like California these days. And then we come in at number five on this list of the small and mid-sized metros offering the best bang for the buck. You know, the fact is I say over and over how great the cost of living is here. Well, bang for your buck. The classic saying in real estate is location, location, location. Everyone who buys a home knows that where homes are located is so important with respect to the neighborhood and even by the block. Changes in the real estate market during COVID have shifted some of the calculus when it comes to choosing both the location and the particular home. And on the one hand, low interest rates have increased the amount of money buyers are willing to spend. So as it turns out, we again, because of this low cost of living, you get more bang for your buck. And don't you want to keep more bucks in your pocket? Of course, we're number five on the cities with the lowest cost of living. I've talked about that over and over, and please check out my video on that. Now, here's an interesting statistic. We're number five in America of the lowest cost of living for young people as well. 
So it's always a great place to retire, but colleges and universities drive their surrounding areas culturally, economically, and intellectually, making those places an ideal place to live for both students and non-students. So Wallet Hub did this review and determined that this was an amazing community for people, for young people to live. A lot of times I hear, oh, there's nothing to do. Uh, contraire, that's not true. And so we're gonna pop down to number 10 of cities with the lowest grocery cost in the whole country. That is amazing because we're just nestled away over here in, North Texas. So some of you may know that we're the home of the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum. And this North Texas town rustles up some serious bargains when it comes to filling your shopping cart. I love that because I love having more money in my pocket. So you can expect to pay 15% below the national average when you stock up on your staples here in Wichita Falls. As I said, we have the lowest cost of living. It is across the board. I can't believe this, but we came in at 12 as the best places to retire in the whole United States. Our nightlife is surprisingly vibrant in this little tiny town. And you'll also find warm Texas weather and a low cost of living for retirement. I'm not quite retired, I probably should be, but I love the fact that I could live on Social Security if I absolutely needed to, because it is a great place to retire. So think about it, come here, enjoy Wichita Falls, and as I say always, this is one of the most amazing communities I've ever been to. If I could live anywhere in the world right now, I'd pick Wichita Falls because it has the fabulous people, the low cost of living, and we're on so many number one lists. So stay tuned for two more videos. And if you'd like to know more about Wichita Falls, you wanna finance, you wanna buy, you wanna sell, there's a little link in the first comments below where you can schedule a Zoom call with me. We'll just talk and I'll answer any of your questions and hopefully you'll fall in love with Wichita Falls just like I have. So as I always say, y'all come back now, you hear?